Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time, Gerald's got stabbed in the back. And Byleth probably isn't feeling too good. Why don't you just sit there with that? Let's get your swordsmanship up. That. This will be useful. Felix. Sword. Okay. Who is it? I'll praise you, you of little course prick. I got it. I need to butter me up. You are such a prick. This could be. I do not like you. Quite an... Quite an... At all. Sylvain, you need to work on your axe and heavy armor. Well, Axe is just fine, so we're going to focus on your heavy armor. Because you want to be a great wow. knight. I thought that this... Alright, that's in... Wow. Flying and versatility. Vying for versatility and wants lance and flight. How's your lance? Well, lance and flight are both pretty good. So let's put your flying up a couple. And why not sword? You can use a sword. I appreciate. Oh yeah, I forgot you're in my class now. And Cyril, you still want to be a Wyvern Knight. I, I feel... I, I feel... Begin lecture. There's another paralog coming up, that's fun. Okay, let's visit Sylvain. What happened? Oh, Professor. <laughs> I didn't realize you were there. I was just sort if of got here. running into each other like this, people will start to talk. They'll say, Sylvain and the Professor are on the prowl. <laughs> I'm sure. Ah, forget it. What do you need? I just sort of stumbled upon you. You got some girl trouble, Sylvain? I fell for that girl recently, but I just wanted to have some fun and leave it at that. So, I told her we should break it off. I guess she was feeling a little more serious than I was. She started crying, and everything got a bit complicated. You know you're a jackass, right? Come on, Professor. Playing around with girls is the most fun a guy can have. Besides, I don't care what you think of me. I don't intend to change how I live my life. I'm a good-for-nothing, if you haven't noticed. But I'm still a noble with a crest. That's all anyone cares about. It's huh. best to avoid getting too serious with fools like that. It only leads to trouble. You're a bit more complicated than you lead on. <laughs> I'm gonna be forced into an arranged marriage with some random noble woman anyway. By the way, Professor, you didn't know you had a crest, did you? No, I didn't. Gerald's never told me. I see. I suppose a mercenary wouldn't be concerned with such things. What was your experience? Most children who are born to noble families are tested upon birth to see if they bear one. Even descendants of the ten elites, like myself, can't be legitimate heirs without a crest. That means as children, we're only accepted if we're born with one. The heads of most noble houses keep having kids until they get one with a crest. Those children then grow up to be heads of their houses, and the vicious cycle continues. Do you get it now? To all these commoner girls, I'm just a trophy. Or rather, a stud horse. That's cynical. Perhaps, but 
That doesn't change the fact that these girls don't love me. They only love the potential rewards of loving me. If I marry a girl and she gives birth to a child with a crest, that kid might become the next head of House Gautier. Yeah, you hate, yeah, you, like you said with Mercedes, you hate your crest and you hate what it's done to your family. But nowadays, with the bloodlines getting weaker, there are a lot of kids like my brother, born with no hope. For ages now, those of us with crests have been envied and desired, but never for who we are. I understand the value of my blood. Believe me, I hate how much I understand it. I know better than to dream of being free from this burden. I'm used to it by now. I used to think I didn't have the right to live freely. You don't think that way anymore. <laughs> That's right. You know what? I'm a bit jealous. The whole time you were growing up, you never knew you had a crest. You were free. Nobody pretended to like you. I kind of hate you for that. Hmm. You were a spoiled brat who should pay for that crest. Maybe I'll collect the debt. Interesting. <laughs> gotcha! Wow, you should have seen the look on your face just then. Don't mind me, Professor. After all, ladies love a dark and brooding noble. I mean, you're not wrong on that department, but you've yeah. definitely got some more complications than just being a skirt chaser. Uh, Felix would like to speak with you. Sure, Felix. You're certainly not going easy on me. Why would I? You fight like a mercenary, not a knight. You hunger for victory, pure and simple. I am a mercenary. You may not be aware of it yourself, but I see it. Should I take that as a compliment or as criticism? Indeed. Knights ought to have some hunger. I've always thought so. They depend too much on their swords. Only when they're rested away do knights consider their hands and feet as weapons. That's not how it was for warriors of old. They weren't limited by their tools. Victory is what matters, not the method of achieving it. That's the attitude to adopt. That's an interesting way to look at it. I detect that in your style. It is plain to see. That doesn't seem like praise. You may take it however you like. I believe the difference between us lies within that hunger. But where does it come from? From the start, I was aiming to win. Yet I couldn't defeat you. Then I remembered something you said before. About your upbringing? Indeed. I was raised to value strength above all else. Whereas you had a reason, an ambition, pushing you toward that hunger. Money. So tell me, what was the reason? Why were you driven to become so strong? Because I was paid to, to survive. That's a mercenary's answer, to be sure. So that is the source of your hunger. I suppose I must find my own. Violet is a mercenary. I mean, that's he's paid to do jobs. That's we can find it together. Ah, uh, if we're to get along, I think not. I'll be content if you continue to train with me. Perhaps it will come to me as I swing my sword. Yeah, you know, I think that's one of the only. You know, I do not like you, Felix. I don't. I do not like you. Professor, we finished up quickly this time. I think we've got some decent results. Right. If we can maintain the same pace next time... Perfect. It's all becoming clear. Aha! Uh -huh. It's all instinct now. Okay. And now we have a paralog. Uh, certifications first.
What would you say to being a paladin instead? And I need to get you a... Get your writing up, though. Let's work on that, then. I'll make you a paladin. You are still not high enough level. I need to get you to level 20. You're, you'll get there, Cyril. to be... My god, just everything I see you in is just precious. You wanted to be a warlock and Flame wanted to be a bishop. I can make you a warlock, but I gotta get your magic up a little higher. Falcon Knight. Eventually, that's what Mercedes will turn out to be. Even though that's an alicorn. Oh my god, you look precious in that. Grimmery? I could see you being a gr and grimmery. You wanted to be a bishop. But you're not a high enough level. You know you have a 100% chance of passing. You need to be level 20. Yeah, it'll be a while before you and Cyril are able to get to the units you want to be. But, nonetheless, to battle. Oil and water. Manuela and Hammerin. Uh, let's skip the save file. I've recorded way too many of these. I need to get them edited, but I just feel like recording this right now. It's raining, Professor. Little rain's okay. On rainy days, the wound I got from the Death Knight hurts like fire. Every time it aches, I get angry. You understand, yeah? I'm sure, sure they have their reasons to kidnap Flame, but still. Did they really need to stab me? What'd I have to do with it? They ruined my beautiful porcelain skin. Worse, they took off before I could stab them back. So <laughs> You are very conceited. That's rather enough, Manuel. Cease your moaning and give the professor a break. Oh, stuff it, Hanneman. Unlike you, the professor has a big heart and listens to me talk about any problem I have. More likely, your incessant ramblings offer no chance to interrupt. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Was she saying something? I wasn't really listening. I was kind of focusing on kind of on the pleasant weather with the gentle rain going on. Very cool. I love. Actually, I really like it when there's a real light, steady rain, not a <laughs> with locals hanging on to the palm trees. No, I like a real light, steady rain, a slight breeze with the cool air coming on. A Really nice when it's like that, just to sit on a porch or a balcony with a drink in hand and just enjoy the cool air. Am I the only one who likes doing that? Is that true, Professor? I wasn't listening at all. Yeah, it, yeah, he's right. I'm sorry to tell you that. You heard that, didn't you, Manuela? You are bothering the Professor. 
Ugh, go away, Hanuman. I didn't say she Leave was bothering alone. me. I just said she was annoying. Well, I guess the same thing. It's like she doesn't give me a chance to say anything. And stop making me shout. It causes the old wound to hurt again. Then perhaps you'd best stay quiet. Keep your emotions in check, I'd say. Why can't we all just get along? Uh, don't worry, Professor. We do this all the time. Indeed. Manuela and I do not mix well. Been true for years. That said, if it were up to me, I would prefer speaking to her in a calmer manner. It's not like I enjoy bickering with you. So maybe keep your mouth shut more often. I state that which needs to be heard. For example... Stop it. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Same, same. Apologies. I am here because I have new information on the Death Knight's hiding place. What? Really? You could have started with that. I'll be on Several your side with that. reported possible sightings on the western edge of the sealed forest. While the authenticity of these reports has yet to be verified, <coughs> it is still a very real possibility. I was thinking I would report this to Seth as a precaution. What? Why? We can't be slow. He's going to get away. I agree with Protocol you, Manuela. on this matter requires reporting to Seth, then Lady Rhea, then... Professor, Enough with let's protocol. Leave this old geezer behind and get going. I agree with you. Geezer? I am barely 15 years your senior. I will not hear such. Stop talking. Let's gather a team and get going. I agree with her. Let's get him. I'll go scout ahead. I'm coming for you, Death Knight. Manuela, wait. It would not do to get yourself killed without someone to avenge you. We'll go with her. Swapping items. I know how to do that. Thank you for. I don't mind the little tips in the beginning, but I know how to play the game. God damn it! You know what would have been a great thing? Tell me how to upgrade my units beforehand. I know how to do it now. Let's see. I'll start with me. Items. That axe won't do me much good, but I need to get my axemanship up. Let's take that iron axe. You're an archer, that's interesting. You're a priest. Dimitri, you're fine. You're fine. You should be fine. Hmm. I'm not coming in with very many people, I'm realizing. But, Cyril, you... I've got to get you leveled up. So... Felix, you're going to take a break. Cyril, you're coming with me. Manuela's in a tough spot, Professor. Even if... <laughs> We have plenty of visitors today. Just some brigands. Now that is a woman. Uh-oh. They've noticed me. Here they come. I kind of like this layout, honestly. It feels like a game board. Like a board oh, game. Through. And it lets you quickly go to units. Where's the commander? I'm gonna guess you. Yes. We have a brigand with a steel axe, or a short axe, okay? I can work with that. Let's take them out. I would much rather keep you at a distance for the time being. I'll give it my all. 
I probably shouldn't be using the silver bow if I'm gonna be so honest. I must stay focused. My turn. Oh, you're an a mage. Interesting. Don't let my age fool you. Let us away. Ready when you are. Stay focused. Okay, crit. Not my first battle. An experience gem. Get in there, Cyril. What? That's not good. That is that. Get you to that healing crest. Don't like that. Probably wasn't worth the silver axe now that I think about it. Making Lady Rhea proud. I'm sure, but I'm not so sure how much I trust Lady Rhea. Right, paranoid, perhaps. Better luck next time. How long did he think that was gonna roll over? Watch and learn. You saw that coming. Good crit. I'm sorry. Is that all? Some losers. Maybe we should take a hostage for leverage. Capture that woman. We'll show them what the Death God Gang's made of. Death God Gang? What kind of childish nonsense? Where's the Death Knight? Cyril, if you would be so kind to double back and deal with this. Damn it! It's gonna break your movement.
Dimitri, fall back. Cover her. That was tough. The odds were in your favor on that one, and you choke. Should I have held back? Blaine, give him a heal. do let's try something special Steal myself. Each battle a chance to grow. Only a wound. Timing on that crit. Still sending these two over to double up with her. Send you back to get some heals from good old Flame. And then press forward. Oh, that's bad. Very bad. I saw that coming. Yeah. 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 
saw that coming. Caution is prudent. Never had a chance. Should I have held back? A rapier. Good timing on the crit. We are the Death God Gang. We're all unstoppable. Uh, how many of your men have I killed? Again, I would say quite a lot of them. Predict easy. Miss. Damn it. I don't even... I'm not going to go back to the beginning, but... I have no way out of this failure. That just pisses me off. I don't like this map layout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care! Just let me restart! Oh my god, this game's loading times can suck a dick. Okay, good, I got Cyril in here. Okay. Now I- okay, oh my god! Just let me frickin- ugh. I'll cut through. These two are gonna go back her up. Ready when you are. Stay focused. We must all do I'll give it my own. That's how it goes. My turn. Let us away. Let's take them out. I don't know why the damn fast four is being weird. You were no match for me. That's just there's just a waste of my time and a waste of your time. Making Lady Rhea proud. You're the one that needs that experience, Cyril. Battle, a chance to grow. I can always depend on you. <sighs> I am spent. I like playing. I feel my strength building. 
I like her, I like the way she speaks. It's very simple, yet there's a charm to that. I can't lose! The fight continues. Splendid attack. This way, Flame can also gain some more experience. Sure. Appreciate it. I have held back. No, I still have smash. It's our chance to prevail. Is that all? Funny when that misses. As expected. Uh, perhaps my archer shouldn't bring up the front. Bunch of metal, some loot. Capture them. Death God get. Yeah, okay. You're dead. That's what we get. Well done, Cyril. I'll keep it up. I have held back. My turn. Go! Oh! 
I read you like a book. I'll join too. Time is now. Who's next? You know, you could have opened with that stylus, Each me, a whatever. Got the rapier back. We are the death god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're unstoppable. <laughs> Excuse me while I stop you. Shut down. Manuela, are you uninjured? A few scrapes and bruises, but yes, I'm well enough. Could anyone think that was the Death Knight? It was obviously just an ordinary bandit. Oh well, I may not have found my revenge, but at least we got to retrieve stolen goods. Manuela, you unthinking fool. Hanuman, I've heard enough already. How bloody stupid are you? If that were the real Death Knight, you'd have new, likely fatal wounds to match your first. Do you know how much you worried all of us? You should be ashamed. Oh, no. Yeah, he's right. He's got a point. Exactly. You are supposed to set an example for our students. Yet, you let emotion get the better of you? You're right. So there, I said that. It's true, but... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'll apologize to everyone later. I see you act so irrationally and I lose my wits. I care about you a great deal and wish to see you safe. Will you believe me? Yes, of course. I'm the same way after all. I let my emotions get the best of me. We're both too old to be shouting all the time. So, everyone is friends again? You're awfully quick to put a bow on this. Are you sick of us already, Professor? You're part of this, Professor. We are the only teachers this academy has. No need for bickering. Well said, Hanneman. Would you care to join me for a celebratory drink? That sounds lovely. Perhaps a nice cup of tea is in order. Okay, that was fun. 
I can I can still do more. I, I can still do more. But I think it's well. Yeah. Let's end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I do another teaching regimen and ultimately fulfill the mission. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.